everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be unboxing my maniology Manny Bummy box and this is the February box so whoops oh that's right this is the one with the foils Ooh. all right so here's our foils that I'll put it to the side in here is our polishes and plates. So let's just dig in and see what we have this month. Um, here's the cards. And this one is um, Maximalist is what they're calling this box. So, we're gonna play with this one and see what we can come up with. So first the polishes. go goodness gracious all right so the chartreuse color I know I said that wrong sorry is headliner 461 and then the gray is front page it's a very pretty gray too um, I'm gonna have to grab my other grays in a minute so we can compare them so, let's watch these real quick. So, I'm going to get two nails. And when I swatch my stamping polishes, I like to only do one coat because, um, hello, they're stamping polishes. They're supposed to be opaque in one coat. So let's see, we'll start with the chartreuse, the headliner. And like I said, I'm only gonna do one coat. Let's see. Is it kind of hard to tell against the purple? Let's grab my white background and see. Is that easier to tell? Kind of reminds me of rind a little bit. I'll have to pull that one out and see. Is it rind I'm thinking of? I'll have to I'll have to get out and see. Okay, so then we're gonna do I'm gonna put the lid back on this one. And then we're gonna do the gray, which is front page. And y'all, I have been searching for the perfect gray, and hopefully this one will be what I'm looking for because Luna is too light and then oh, Yes, this is the shade of gray I've been looking for. Because I want a light gray to use as a neutral base. Y'all, I think I have found it. I don't think that's enough light in here. Let me turn my flash on. I'll be right back. All right, let's see how this looks. That's a little better. I have to turn my ring light on. I still don't think that's bright enough, but it is brighter. All right. So, 
those are the two polishes. Um, let me get my stuff to stamp. We'll stamp the colors on here. There's my mitts. I always stamp the same stamp. It's my Dixie Plates Lace 01 Plate. And I always stamp this one. So, let's see. Where's my... Alright, my Radiology Ice Cube Stamper. I'm sorry, I'm so unprepared today. Alright. Let's zoom you in some. There you go, that's better. See how we're going to stamp over black and white. All right, so good over the white, over the black. Mm, see how it changes colors? So, and I'm used to seeing that with yellows, um, I guess because this is a yellow-based green. That's why this changed colors as well. Um, so, you know, I'm not that happy with it. I mean, it is opaque over the white. It is a good color, to, you know, as a polish, but over the black, I'm not impressed at all. All right. Now let's do the gray. Oh, and that was, let me tell you the name again, headliner. The gray is front page. Let's do this one now. And like I said, I, I think this is gonna be my new gray because this is the shade I have been looking for. Okay. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. It did change a little bit over the black too. But you can see it, so. I do like that one. Yay. Okay. But do I still have, I have a little bit on here. All right, clean that plate off. And now let's look at our plates. So the plates we have is 96. And I think all of their 96 is left off the um, the, man, the, the Manny part of Maniology. And then 95. All right, so 95 is first. So let's look at 95. So we have, let me get down here so you can see it all in one shot. There we go. So we've got this for a very newspapery and distressed background. We've got the typewriter, um, some more print. Just a lot of abstract. Um, that's a woman. That's her bare shoulder, her hand, her face, her hat. That's kind of cute. The letters coming out of the bullhorn. There's another abstract lady with uh, flowers for the top of her head. There's the cherries. That's a flamingo. That says, great news. Hands coming out of the skyline. Uh, I'd say that's more of a moth than a butterfly. That abstract, abstract, abstract. And then that's a woman. 
And then the next plate, the 96. I've got some flowers and then a bunch of abstract backgrounds. Got some marred backgrounds. Um, look how small these newspaper prints are. So I think, you know, for those of you that have small nails, um, no nails, but have nail beds, I think these are going to be a good size for you. Some more of our backgrounds. Um, this is what I'm really excited for. The letters. This is what I'm going to use for my mani today. You can see what we're going to do. I think it's going to be fun. All right. So let me get set up to stamp and I'll be back. All right, before I stamp, y'all, I forgot the foils, the extra, the foils. See what colors we got. Y'all look at the hollow. Alright, I'm gonna have to turn this ring light off so we can actually see colors too. Where's my button? There we go. You can still see the hollow from my overhead light, but let me zoom you out. So we've got green, blue silver pink and that's like a um hot pink like a magenta pink gold I'm gonna have to pull these out because I just I don't think y'all are seeing okay we've got this blue there we go. And then we have red. We have this gold, which is, and we have two golds. Um, they, they are a little different. The difference is subtle, though. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, it's so hard to tell on camera because of my, because of my lighting. I'm so sorry. I thought if I pulled them out, you'd be able to see. But, man, look how strong that hollow is. There you go, there's a gold. I just won't be able to, I don't think I'll be able to show you side by side. Now these are a lot of foils. Hopefully you could tell. I'm so sorry if you can't. Um, but I mean, y'all, you know, if I turn off the light, I don't know if you'll be able to see. It's so dark. So these are the two golds. I mean, you can see the... The color's better without the hollow, but it's not that bright. Let me see with my ring light on. That's, oh, that's a little better. But it's so dark. All right, that gold. this gold 
And this one's a little more bronzy. And then we have, is this black? some black and then we have this pink I bring another light over but all my lights are LEDs and you're just gonna see the hollow it's a green and the blue Zoom me in a little bit and maybe you can see, maybe you can pause it and see all the colors. Okay. So, we got foils. What color do I want to play with over this gray and green? They're still damp. Here's what I'm gonna do. My top coat with my quick dry top coat. I'm gonna use my Salon Perfect. And then we can play with some foils when it dries. All right, I'll top coat these, I'll be back. All right, I'm back, and like I said, I'm going to use this play. I'm sorry, i got to turn this light off because my little circle's just going to bother me. There we go. And I'm going to use the MXM 096, and I'm going to use these letters. And y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so glad these letters are this small, so we actually have room to work with them and do some cool stuff. So, take my film off. Holding my plate down so I don't bend it. And grab my 100% acetone. I'm gonna do a quick wipe on my plate to get rid of any residue from the blue film. Now, okay, on my nails, I have two coats of Zoya Harley, and it's just a really light silver. I'm going to be stamping using Mini Allergy Cherry Balm. And my straight up black. Turn the plate sideways so it's easier for me to get to my letters. Oh, and you know, I'm so sorry this middle finger is so short, but uh, this has grown out. It did chip down here. And I did have a patch on it, but it's finally gotten to the point where I just couldn't patch it anymore, especially since this side had chipped too. So, so we just cut her down and she's just going to be the lone shorty. I am about to cut the other ones down too, though, because they are getting a little long. But anyway, so I'm going to start with M in black. Right, 
So we're going to go here and we're going to go M. Now I'm going to go with the red. And we're going to pick up the U. Have y'all figured out what I'm doing yet? the black for the R Blacks now I need red for the D. I just did, I just did red, so now I need black. I'm sorry, that looks like a backwards three. Let's see, that was black, so now we need red. kind of abstracty stuff do I want on here? Hmm. Does that kind of look like a fingerprint to you? I'm going to do that on my pinky. Let's see how that looks. Let's see. 
anything on the other plate. I don't think I'm still I'm gonna stay with this plate. And it has the individual. Let's see that little red right in there. There. What do y'all think? I think it's cute. All right, so this is done. So now, let's play with some foils. Cap these back up. Clean my plate some. So, I got some tips here. Red, pink, gray, which is the one that came in the box, the front page, and then the chartreuse color, which is headliner. So let's play with some foils. Let's do silver, and I'm just going to cut off a little piece. Oops, sorry. Stop. one. I don't want this video to be too long. So, here's a little tip when you're playing with foils. This doesn't look too bad, but we're going to try it and see. Here's what we're going to do. Let me zoom in. We are going to take a Q-tip and some alcohol. I'm going to dip it in some alcohol. And then, can you see where I made that little swipe? We're just going to take some of this backing off, and that should make the foil easier to transfer. Okay. Did 
do. What was on my mat? Mm. I'm gonna cut another piece because that's from that this little mat here. I don't like how that looks. Let me cut another little piece of my silver. Do it on a piece of paper towel. Just a little bit. And can you see where I'm wiping it at? I'm just going to take a little bit of that off. And it should transfer easier. Okay. Come here. Come here. I didn't want to let go. All right, move my alcohol out the way before I spill it. Not gonna be good. All right, so what do we want to transfer? I want to do something that you can see. try this. Now I'm going to use my Maniology Sticky Black. This we had got in a previous Manny by Me box. Am I a little too... There we go. So... This, this is the first time for me too. So let's see how it works. All right, it's great. Pick up. Lay down. And then look. Ooh, look at that, y'all. All right, get back on there now. All right. Why are you not sticking too good? Be on lift off. Ah, and see, because it's it's not sticky no more, but like a lot of it did transfer. Look at this over hollow. What y'all think? Now, very important, very important, very important. Let me wrap this up a little bit. I'm making it sticky again because it's been sitting on there for a little while. 
Um, very important. Now you're going to top coat with a water-based top coat to protect that silver and that hollow. So I'm going to take my smudge-free top coat. And then once that dries, then you can go in with a regular top coat. All right, I'm gonna put that to the side and let it dry. All right, so there's my Manny with this month, this month's Manny by Me box. So what do you think? Y'all let me know in the comments below. I wanna thank y'all so much for joining me and um, until, oh, don't forget, I do have a mini LG code. Hello. It's LJ Nails 10. I would really appreciate it if you would use my code. That'll get you 10% off regularly priced items, and I will earn a little bit of commission on that. And um, what else? Um, please excuse my cuticles, y'all. I have been cleaning all week, so my skin and nails are just... Well, I've been washing my hands so much. Um, but anyway, um, please like, subscribe, share. Um, and until next time, I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for joining me.